of the sequential concept uh, back in 2011, the hope was. Yeah. The country was so bad. The president. I like the way you work it. No diggity. Hey, I never. Hey, I don't know. Then we just got a little. Hey, I just got a little dick. I mean, real. I mean, no. There are alternative questions that one could propose that are better. You wait. I mean, I mean, seriously. I mean, you think all this bit? I think all this is. In either case. And they want. Those who say that taking money on the accounting and government spending all about the right kind of raising taxes. What does that simply turn off? When does that simply turn on? We've already started to feel the impact of consumers having less money in their hands because of the payroll tax. See? You're talking about the payroll tax. Just a broke dick bitch. See? That is the first thing about the payroll tax. Why you gotta be bringing up? This is what Jim and I's career is saying, sir. You don't even make sense. Why you gotta be bringing up the payroll taxes? It's a fucking bill, I mean. Now you're trying to cut our. Uh, and now you're trying to cut our entitlement spending. And now you're trying to cut our entitlement spending. <laughs> What's with that? <laughs> What was that? I'm going to respectfully disagree with some of my colleagues present. I do want to echo what Scott said. I'll make a couple of points. I think it is possible to cut less than 3% of the federal budget without causing a debt. Be for real. Cut my title. Without, for example, jeopardizing social security. I think you can achieve these kinds of reductions. The spending in the federal budget, the federal budget will actually be larger even after the election than it was last year. So I think there is a responsible way to cut less than three percent of the federal budget. I think it's time for President to show leadership. I did try so. Then the Congress a prioritized list of reductions. That means reserves critical services. Brian, every Farrow. Every year had a balance their budget for itself. That's right. Every family out there has to the balance their budget. Demi, you know how to spend more than they need. Every business. And Demi knows that. Tighten their belt. The reality is it can't be done. This administration has. Is it that that I had already moved on? Yeah. Why are you still acting on the floor? I was like, hey, Ryan, I saw it five minutes ago. Because Jamie, I ain't fair. I, got, I know that, Johnny. <laughs> Why are you still acting on the floor? <laughs> huh? What's wrong with you? I don't even want you over here. What the fuck, you don't goddamn sell? Because you're like recording people illegally. For example, the Medicaid. So what? Uh, what, what, what? What? Where are you base this on? The Constitution of the United States? Are you basing your fucking recording people illegally? Because you can't shut up. Fucking Thomas Jefferson sign? You can't shut up. Uh, no, that's a declaration of Uh That James Madison. And that wrote, I think, uh, possibly, we don't know, Thomas Jefferson. Do, do you know the founding fathers? You don't even know the damn founding fathers. Who are the founding fathers? Who wrote the Constitution of the United States? Name their names. I don't know. Alexander Hamilton, uh, Jefferson, uh, Madison, uh, let's see, Washington, I think, I didn't do doing that. Um, Benjamin Franklin, probably a lot of Benjamin Franklin, a uh, guy from fucking Pittsburgh, a guy from Wilson. I was trying to remember all these names, but then I stopped. Then he went at fucking Mel. Man, bye. Mel. You know, I shot a fucking coyote in the face with shotgun. You guys actually did that.